Hi, loves to hear. I'm in Deep Up, and this time I've uh, managed to get the the screensaver working. There it is, um, just moulding away. This is the X screensaver. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is if you look down here. This is my SDA7 hard drive and this is my, well these are actually partitions and this is my SDA5 and what I want to, to, to look at is, as I said, I'm in DPUP and here is my DPUP save file but also on this hard drive, on, S, on SDA5 there's a PUP save 1.2 FS so if I was booting up into DPUP, it would save this file with all my settings on it. And if I was in the standard puppy, which we're at 4.3.1, final should be released um, very very shortly. This this file would be saved, okay? But if I click on this, even though I'm in this one in DPUP. Let's do it again because it was already mounted. I was playing with it um, before. If I click on this, it will mount. Okay, it will mount and open. And that means all the various files that are available on the standard puppy are now are now there for me. So if I look on on root and look in my documents there's a new file which I created from DPUP earlier on okay so let's open it test info test info it says there and if I do some more editing and save that that file which is for a, a different version of puppy is now available when I next boot up into the other version of Puppy, the 4.31, even though I'm in DPUP. Okay, so we'll close that close that file, and something I didn't do last time, um, we'll un we'll click on it again and unmount it. And there you can see unmount pup save 1.2. So the save files, the save files where Puppy saves all its um, settings and information. All right, can be edited from another version just by clicking on the file and accessing the data. So very useful to know that. Okay, that's all from me. Bye now.